It's Arnie Dixon's Yo-Yo Extravaganza How to Yo-Yo Video Distributed by Duncan Now this cat has his ups and downs He's called the Yo-Yo Man I wish that there were more of him Nobody does it like he can He's going for this Yo-Yo star He's got the world on a string To him it's no big deal Upon one wheel he's the Yo-Yo King Hey, why, oh, why, oh, can I be Like the wild Yo-Yo Man Duncan Yo-Yo's presents Arnie Dixon, world-class yo-yo champion, the official Duncan Yo-Yo Man. Hi, I'm Arnie Dixon, the wild yo-yo man, here to show you that when it comes to yo-yoing, you too can become the king of the string. Now I'm going to teach you a number of tricks on this tape, everything from walk the dog, here boy, to the chopper cycle. But, before you take off and get too carried away, there's a couple of important basics I need to teach you about your yo-yo. When you get your yo-yo out of the package, you need to make it your own. Customize it. What you'll find is that the yo-yo string is a little bit longer than it needs to be for you. Let the yo-yo touch the floor, right between your feet, and measure just a couple inches above your waist. Right at that point, fold the string over and treat it like it's one piece of string. I like to make a loop right around my fingertip, and then I'm going to bring the tip of that right through that hole from underneath. Right there, I pull it right on up. Now I'm going to pull it tight and cut off that extra string right there. That'll get in the way later unless we cut it. So there that goes. Now what you have is a solid loop. That could be too big or too small for your finger and you want it to fit snug. So take any piece of the string and push it through that loop. And when it comes out on the other side, it's a slip loop. When that slip loop goes right between your first and second knuckle on your right hand, the left hand for you lefties. Snug it up and you're ready to go. Now I remember when I got my very first yo-yo. I got it all sized up, all ready to go, all ready to yo. And I'll have you know I gave it a go with my first yo throw, like this. hi -ya! Unfortunately, that's all it did. I mean, it just stayed down there. It just yoed. And I'd paid for a yo-yo. I felt ripped off. Since then, I've learned a little secret. Come here, and I'll share it with you. It's called a hitch, and it's like training wheels on a bike. Now, every good yo-yo does have a loop at the bottom that allows it to spin and do the harder tricks, and that will come in handy in just a minute. But right now, let's put on those training wheels. 
Pinch your string about two inches above the yo-yo and let your yo-yo untwist. Just pretend it's a clock, make the hands go backwards in time, and all of a sudden your yo-yo string will split open just like that. Now at this point you could take the yo-yo off completely from your string or we can put on the hitch and that's what we want to do. So take one strand and go around once, twice. And now you and your yo-yo are ready to go. It won't stay down anymore, but hopefully neither will you. It'll come up real easy and that'll allow us right off the bat to do five of the most important basic yo-yo tricks in the world. Make sure you have plenty of room. The first trick is called the gravity gripper. I love that sound almost as much as I love the trick itself. Let the yo-yo drop out of your hand. It'll go down and come back up. Now the key on this trick is to make sure that your hand goes down as the yo-yo travels the first half of the string and as it goes the rest of the way, pull up. That down and up motion is what makes the trick work. So there you have the gravity gripper. The other variation on this trick is called the overhand gravity gripper. Same sound effect, just a different hand release. Take the yo-yo and put it in your palm with your palm up. Now make sure the string wraps over the top of the yo-yo. If your yo-yo is twisted a half a turn, when you go to throw it down, it'll either catch on your fingers or it'll come off crooked. So make sure the string wraps over the top of your yo-yo. Now, make a muscle and lick your yo-yo right in the eye. Release your yo-yo with a nice overhand throw. Be sure that your yo-yo hand is higher than your waist and turn your palm over to meet the yo-yo when it comes up. This trick is called the overhand gravity gripper. This trick will come in handy later when we learn the spinner. The next trick is the flip flop. It starts like the gravity gripper, but when it comes up, instead of catching it, when the yo-yo is about five inches from your hand right here, imagine that there's a fly in front of your yo-yo and swat at it. The yo-yo will flip over your hand and do the flip flop. It's also a continuous trick and can be done again and again and again with practice. And so there you have the flip flop. Now, if at any time during these tricks the yo-yo should flip on its side, it probably means you're not releasing it straight. It's very important to keep it straight to give it a hard flip. Now, our next trick is called the forward pass. It starts out just like the gravity gripper with the string over the top of the yo-yo. But what you'll do is let your hand drop to your side and let your arm swing just like you're walking down the street. But when your hand is back behind you, that's when you'll let go of the yo-yo and pull your hand forward and the yo-yo will come with it. Now make sure you catch the yo-yo with your palm up. This will allow you to do the trick continuously without having to readjust your string. So there you have the forward pass. Now our next trick is called loop the loop and it starts just like forward pass but when the yo-yo comes back, instead of catching it, you're going to stop right here about five inches. You're going to bend your fingers in and you're going to take the tips of your fingers and make a loop by bringing them toward your nose and down to your toes and back out. And that's the shape of the loop. When you throw the yo-yo out, when it comes back is the time to give it that loop. Just like that. And you can have one loop or you can have two loops or you can have fruit loops. But that's another story. Now remember, all these tricks do take practice, and you may have a few oops learning the loops. But once you get it down, it's a really impressive trick. And the next thing I'd like to show you is called the three-leaf clover. It's the same as loop the loop, but you'll make one loop up, one out, and one down. Like this. One, two, and three. One, two, three. Now at this point, I would suggest that you may want to go back and review these first five basic tricks that we've learned with the hitch. They are gravity gripper, flip flop, forward pass, loop the loop, and three leaf clover. For those of you who are ready to move on, we're going to move in to an entirely new dimension of yo-yoing. We're going to remove those training wheels by taking out the hitch and we're going to make a freewheeling or spinning yo-yo. To do that, simply pinch the yo-yo string about two inches above the yo-yo and let it untwist counterclockwise like we did before until the yo-yo string splits apart. Look down inside your yo-yo and remove the hitch. One, two. Now at this point you could take the yo-yo off, but again keep it on 
and you have a perfect freewheeling spinning yo-yo. One of the things you'll notice though at this point is trying to wind your yo-yo up. It'll just slip and slip and slip because it's a freewheeler. So I want to show you a real easy way to wrap up your string so you don't have to do this all day long. Simply hold the yo-yo on one side with all five fingers, but take one finger and put it over the yo-yo slot. Now you'll want to wrap over that finger and back into the slot. Lift your finger up just a hair and wrap under your finger as much as half of your yo-yo string. Take your finger out of the slot and gently continue to wind the string over the yo-yo loop and that loop will disappear. It'll wind right into your yo-yo. When you go to throw it down, give it a nice hard throw and it'll spin at the bottom. That loop will also come right out. Magic, huh? Your yo-yo is now able to spin and as luck would have it, the first trick we're going to learn without the hitch is called the spinner. And it starts out just like the gravity gripper with an overhand throw. Let it hit gently at the bottom and your yo-yo should spin. This is a difficult trick, especially if you want to do a long spin. But give it a tug before it stops turning and it should come right back up into your hand. At first you'll find you can only do about a two or a three second spin. But with practice, your spin will become longer and longer. Now, sometimes that yo-yo will just keep popping back up into your hand very frustrating. Well, the problem is your string is just too tight. It's what I call spaghetti string and it looks like this. The way to get rid of spaghetti string is to let your yo-yo hang and bring your fingers right down that string and it'll untwist counterclockwise all on its own. Sometimes you'll have the exact opposite problem where your yo-yo will spin but you can't make it come up. Well, you need to let your yo-yo hang again but this time twist in the opposite direction. Our next trick is called walk the dog. Throw a nice hard spinner, touch your yo-yo on a hard floor, let the dog walk and try to give it a tug before it runs out of spin and back you'll come. Now you can also walk your dog through the hoop. Here boy. And then of course there's the dog bite. Ouch! There's no extra charge for the variations. Here's another trick, and fortunately, here's another yo-yo. It's called Rock the Baby. Anyway, it goes like this. Step one, two, and three. Once again, let your yo-yo hang. It's a good way to learn a lot of tricks with it. Stop. One, two, three. Rock the Baby. And later, you can rock a by your baby Bye-bye. Of course, if your baby really gets bad, you can spank the baby. But enough of this baby stuff. It's time to pack our bags and take a trip around the world. It starts just like forward pass, but you're going to stop your hand and aim up a little bit and let it go all the way around. And when it comes to full revolution, give it a tug and voila, around the world. See? I even learned a little French as we traveled. Now it's important on this trip to make sure you have lots of room because you never know what might be out there. Excuse me. My next trick is called around the corner. Once again, it starts out with a hard spin. Put your elbow in front of the string, bend your elbow down and pluck the string right above the yo-yo like a violin and the yo-yo will come right over the top. Now this may look like a difficult trick, but it's really not that hard to learn and it's a real crowd pleaser. At this point, I'd suggest that you take some time to review the 10 tricks that we've already done. The first five with a hitch and the last five without a hitch. The spinner, walk the dog, rock the baby, around the world, and around the corner. Good job. And now, I thought you might like to learn a little bit about the history of the yo-yo. Long ago, in the dim, dark ages before the printed word, the toy trademark yo-yo was born in the steaming jungles of the Philippine Islands. Its first use was as a primitive weapon. It was fashioned from a sharp piece of flint-like rock with a long thong tied to it made from the hide of an animal or twisted plant fiber. The cunning native would hide in the leafy foliage of a tree and wait for his prey to pass underneath. Then he'd throw the stone and try to stun the animal or enemy and tangle the thong around its neck. But if his aim was poor, he could at least retrieve the weapon. During the 17th and 18th centuries, 
the yo-yo was a favorite diversion in the royal courts of France and Spain. In the Louvre in Paris is a painting of a nobleman of that period holding his yo-yo. The toy was given many names in the civilized world. It was called Disc in Greece, in Croyle, Bandalore, and Quiz in England, and Le Amigre in France. But the game remained a particularly Philippine one, and for as long as man can remember, it's been a national sport there. Most Filipinos make their own yo-yos, and they often spend weeks of their spare time in making very fine specimens, the best of which are carved from lignum vitae, the wood of life, or from water buffalo horn. Practically every Filipino plays the game during his childhood and develops considerable skill. The game migrated to the United States from the Philippine Islands in the late 1920s, when for the first time it became known as Yo-Yo. The man first responsible for the American success of the toy was Donald F. Duncan. The toy traveled around the United States like wildfire and captured the play spirit of the nation. Americans took hold of the game quickly and showed amazing dexterity with the Yo-Yo. They developed new tricks and a scope of playing far beyond anything the world had imagined possible. With the refinements made during this period, the art swiftly traveled to all parts of the world, and the Duncan Yo-Yo became an internationally known skill toy. Flambeau Corporation purchased the rights to the Duncan Yo-Yo in 1968 and has kept up the tradition. As far as my own history goes, well, contrary to popular belief, I wasn't born with a Yo-Yo in my hand. No, I learned how to do tricks just like you by practicing. In fact, back when I was younger, sometimes I got a little too wrapped up in my tricks. But I stuck with it, and nowadays I've traveled all over the world teaching kids how to yo-yo. I've been on TV shows, in commercials, even the president has invited me over to pull a few strings at the White House. So don't get frustrated. It does take time. But if you'll stick with it, you'll get the hang of these. Our first advanced trick is called the buzzsaw. All you need is an empty tissue box and... A good spinner. Pull the yo-yo back before it runs out of gas and you have the buzz saw. Our next trick is called the Sleeping Beauty. It's where the yo-yo operates on its side. It makes a small cradle and that's where the beauty sleeps. The three steps to Sleeping Beauty are, one, throw the yo-yo at a 45 degree angle across your body. As the yo-yo hits the bottom, you're going to take your free hand and push it into the string for step two, like this. One, two, and three, pull back with your yo-yo hand, and the yo-yo will come back. Now, the real beauty part to the sleeping beauty is that if you throw the yo-yo to the right, it'll tighten the string, and if you throw it to the left, it'll loosen your string automatically. Our next trick is called the runaway dog. It's pretty doggone good. It goes like this. Throw a hard spin, take the yo-yo off your finger, and... Ow! You might want to be a little careful if you're working with a video crew on that one. Now, you'll have to retrieve your yo-yo, but I'm the wild yo-yo man, and hey, there are some privileges to being the king of the string. Now that the dogs run away, it's time to do a trick with a cat. This next trick is called Skin the Cat. Start with a hard spin, Take your finger up the string. When you throw the yo-yo in the air, it'll catch. Do a loop-de-loop, -loop, and you have skinned the cat. Sounds kind of creepy, I know, but hey, our next trick is the creeper. Throw a good spin, and let the yo-yo rock out in front of you to the end of its string. And that's the creeper. While we're down here, why don't we work on shoot the moon? This is a difficult and dangerous trick. If you're a beginner, it's best to probably wear a helmet. This is also a nice trick to do out of doors. It starts like forward pass, but instead of catching the yo-yo, we're gonna flip it right up. One, two, just like that. And that's shoot the moon. Now, let's learn breakaway. Instead of throwing the yo-yo straight ahead as we have been, make a muscle and throw the yo-yo to your side. When the yo-yo hits the bottom, let it swing across your body with a little bit of spin, and there you have the breakaway. The breakaway also nicely flows into trapeze, but of course we haven't really learned how to do that yet. By now, you've probably worked up quite an appetite learning all these tricks. The good news is, it's time for eating spaghetti. The bad news is, it's just the name of our next trick. Throw a good spin. Get the string bunched up on your fingers, put on some salt and pepper, and... <sighs> eating spaghetti.
Hey, check this out. This is part of my yo-yo collection. I thought you might like to see it. It's something a lot of people often ask me about. You see, I've been collecting for over 20 years, and it's another fun part of yo-yoing. Who knows? Maybe someday you'll start your own collection. Now, another thing I'm often asked about is how do I start the yo-yo when it's at a complete stop at the bottom? I split my fingers like this, I go down the string and give it a nice hard push. And up it comes, ready to go. Now, I want to show you five really great tricks. They're picture tricks, and the best way to learn these is with your string, just like that. Later, you can add the spin. The first one is called the Eiffel Tower. Make a V with your hand so you have a slingshot. Now, you have a slingshot, but you don't have a sling, so listen to me, the king of the string, and make your string into the sling by pulling it back just like that. One other problem is you don't have a thing to sling, so reach right on through and grab this string and pull it up. We'll make that the rock. When you pull it up like that, you're just about done with the tower. The last part's the hardest. You're going to bend your thumb and pivot right there, and you're going to put this part of the, the string right underneath your yo-yo finger, just like that. From here to there. And there you have the Eiffel Tower. Hey, that tower's an Eiffel. Now the next step is the chopper cycle. It's very close to the Eiffel Tower. Make the V, pull the string back, reach through for the rock, and Pull it to the side instead of up. Close your right hand and your left hand and you're ready to go with the chopper cycle. The third picture trick is called the bow tie. Again, make the V, pull the string back, reach through for the rock, and at this point, you've got two pointer fingers and two little spots for them to go in. One is right here, the other one's here. Push down with your thumb and shape that, and you've got your bow tie. Oh. Trick number four is called Yo! Start just like we did before, pull the string back, and this time we're going to make the Eiffel Tower. Reach through for the rock, make your Eiffel Tower, but take it and turn it over just like that. And if you'll notice, the Y and the O spells yo. If you have a buddy, you can spell yo-yo. The next trick is called the star. It's made the same way that you could take a piece of chalk and draw a star on the chalkboard without lifting the chalk. All you have to do is take your thumb and push out. Go to your ring finger and dip. Go to your pointer finger and lift. To your pinky finger and dip. And finally, to your middle finger, bend over everything you've done and lift up. And there you have the star. Hey, come on in here. There's something I want to show you. Welcome to the Yo-Yo Hall of Fame. You'll notice there's quite an array of yo-yos here. You'll also notice I'm in my cool outfit, because I'm going to teach you some cool tricks with each of these yo-yos, starting with this one right here, the Duncan Imperial. This one's a classic. Its shape has been around since 1929, when the Duncan Yo-Yo Company started, and it fits right into your palm like this, so it lends itself nicely to beginning players and younger players, but it'll also do the more advanced tricks. Here's a couple variations on Rock the Baby from around the world. Rock the Baby in the Chinese Cradle, And I'm sure you'd like to see that up close. So I'm going to show it to you one more time in yo-yo slow-mo. Here's how it's done. Take the string up like this over your thumb, turn down, grab through, off your pinky, one more time through, open up the little cradle, and rock it through. Here's a little something called Rock the Baby Down South. They rock them with one arm, keep them cool with the other. <laughs> After that, I like to do the itsy bitsy baby. It's a little tiny trick. But I think I'm gonna need the whole screen to show it, guys. Thank you. Here it is. Now in order to show it to you, I'm just gonna let the yo-yo string come all the way down and hang with the yo-yo stop. And here's how you do it. Take three fingers on your alternate hand and pull into the string. And just like a taffy maker, you're gonna go around one, two, and on the third time, open up your pointer and your thumb, those two fingers, and let the baby rock through. That's how it's done. After the itsy bitsy, I like to do the izzy dizzy. Izzy dizzy? Whew, I don't know about him, but I sure am. For the next trick, we need to be in the black. So I'm gonna grab the Midnight Special. Because our next trick is called 
the bank deposit. My banker's jacket, please. Thank you. Now, to get this trick to work, once again, you have to have a good spin on your yo-yo. Spread your legs just a bit and give the yo-yo a throw. Make sure it spins at the bottom. Keep the change. Get that thing dry clean for me, will you? Great. And now we're going to move on to yet another style of Imperial Yo-Yo. This bright and colorful model is the Duncan Neo. And with it, I want to show you the pinwheel. It starts like breakaway and goes all the way out and forms a pinwheel. Check it out again in Yo-Yo Slow-Mo. As the yo-yo comes around, let it hit your pointer finger, pinch it off with your middle finger, and support it with your thumb, and then bring it back. Our next trick is called jail bars, and for good reason. Check it out. Let me out of here! Now watch it again in yo-yo slow-mo, and pay close attention to the finger work. Start with your pointer finger on your yo-yo hand, and then just weave back and forth to each of the fingers working your way down your hands. Now that we're out of jail, I'd like to introduce you to another style of Imperial Yo-Yo here in the Hall of Fame. It's called the Duncan Gold Award. I'd like to use this one to show you one of my favorite tricks, the rocket in the pocket. My rocket scientist jacket, please. Good help's hard to find, I guess. And so is a good fit. Here it is, the rocket in the pocket. Three, two, one. Bet you'd like to witness that again in yo-yo slow-mo. Here it is. Take it off your yo-yo finger at the top, give it a little lift, and away you go. That's all for the Duncan Gold Award. And that's all for my rocket scientist jacket. Stick it on a hanger, I'll dry clean it. Great. Now we're going to move on to the Duncan Butterfly. It kind of looks like a butterfly if you use your imagination. The story is told that it was originally a mistake when some yo-yo took the two pieces of a regular yo-yo and cut them backwards. I'm surprised they didn't call it the oi oi. <laughs> but it actually turned out to be a good design with several great play characteristics. For instance, if you throw it down a little bit to the side, it's very forgiving because of the rounded sidewalls. Another great advantage to the butterfly, because it has a wide gap, is doing string tricks. You can almost always hit your mark. Now I'd like to teach you a trick that takes advantage of all those great characteristics. It's called the roller coaster. And believe me, it drives them wild. See what I mean? But in order to teach you the roller coaster, I need to teach you several other tricks that are each a part of it, starting with the man on the flying trapeze. Easy guys, I need to be able to keep my balance here in order to teach the trick. We start with the breakaway that we learned earlier. Then you put your finger right in the way of the string and let the yo-yo come over the top and flop onto the string. It's important to put your hands together just a little bit to cushion the fall, bring it down. When you're ready for the yo-yo to come back, pull your hands apart. It'll pop the yo-yo up in the sky, and it'll come into your hands. You can control whether the yo-yo will hit the string by how far out your right and left hand is, like this. If for some reason the yo-yo shouldn't hit the string, you can do this. If it goes over the outside, put your
Duncan Professional. It was named after me. Super! Just kidding. But actually, it is a great yo-yo. In fact, I like it so much, I always carry a spare. Right now, I want to show you some tricks with it, but let me just say that it's a great yo-yo for looping tricks because the high sidewalls keep it from wobbling off center, something that we all have a tendency to do from time to time. We're going to move into a mode that I call Stereo Yo-Yo's a Go-Go. Actually, I just call it Stereo Yo. Okay. These tricks, when you do them with both hands, they're double the trouble, but twice as nice. Tricks like double gravity gripper, double forward pass. What I would recommend is that you learn the first four tricks on this tape with your alternate hand, the hand that you don't normally yo-yo with. Then you can put them together and do double tricks like double gravity gripper or double forward pass. Here's a neat one. It's called the double dog walk. It's a little noisier than the regular walk the dog and a tad bit more difficult. For our next trick, we're going to do Milk and the Cow. It's the same thing as flip-flop, only the yo-yo goes continuous in one direction and you do it with both hands. It looks like this. Now, I know you'd like to see that again, so here it is in slow motion. And here's Milk and the Cow sideways. Just kidding. But it is our next trick. It's called the Whirly Bird, and it's the same thing as loop the loop, but continuously and in both hands. Now, it's very important not to let anybody get too close on this trick or get between the yo-yos, because if they do, it instantly becomes the haircut. I'm not kidding. Check this kid out. He's the last kid who thought I was joking. He got a little too close to the Whirly Bird. It became the haircut. And hey, look at him now. Now, if you take the yo-yo in your right hand and go to the left, and the yo-yo in your left hand and go to the right, at the same time, it's the world-famous double-handed crossover loop-the-loop. -loop. Say that again. OK. It's the world-famous double-handed crossover loop-the-loop, -loop, one of the most difficult tricks known to mankind. But you probably don't want to see that. Aww. You do? Oh, yeah. All right. It starts like this with the yo-yo straight. This could be fun. Yeah, it's going to be fun. But you might want to back up from your set a little bit on this one. Even though I am a trained professional, and I have done this for 20 years, I haven't made a Oops. <laughs> OK. Now remember, the yo-yos are going to start straight, and they're slowly going to cross. You, whatever you do, don't look at the strip with your eyes crossed, or it'll just look straight. All right, here we go. You can clap now. When? Now. Now? Yes, now. Yeah! Thank you. Here's another great trick you can do with two yo-yos. It's called loop the loop and shoot the moon. With my right hand, I'm going to do shoot the moon. And with my left hand, I'm going to do loop the loop. It looks like this. Now, when you first learn that trick, it's often a good idea to use a butterfly for shoot the moon because that particular model is the best model and the easiest one to use for that particular trick. Now, before we go on, I want to show you a trick that I thought was almost impossible, but I practiced it. Well, here it is. It's called rocking the twins. Take the yo-yo from your alternate hand, snug it up on your index fingers so both yo-yos rest side by side, and give it a throw. Rockin' the Twins. Let's see that again, Arnie. All right, here you go. Wow. So you like that? We sure do. Rockin' the Twins while talking to Twins. Kind of fun. But now it's time to say goodbye to the Twins. Goodbye. Bye. But before you go, here's a yo-yo for each of you. Gee, thanks, Arnie. You're welcome. Now that we've said goodbye to the twins, let's say hello to the Duncan Wheel. It's like the butterfly, but it's a little bit wider and it's made out of a heavier plastic, 
Also, there's more weight toward the rim and a neat design inside the hub. And now, as Pat Sajak would say, let's give the wheel a spin. <laughs> Where's Vanna when you need her? Anyway, our next trick is a scientific wonder. It's called Split the Atom. Check it out. Now that was the basic form of Split the Atom. And I'm going to try to teach it to you. But the way to do that is to teach you three other tricks that are each building blocks to Split the Atom. And here they are. The first one I've already shown on the tape earlier, it's called Skin the Cat. It looks like this. Then from there, you go to the barrel rolls. Very similar to Skin the Cat. But instead of letting the cat go off the tip right here where you normally would, as it's spinning, you do this. Take your yo-yo hand, wrap underneath the yo-yo, and bring your hand up. Roll the yo-yo off the end and grab it. And as with Skin the Cat, you want to put a little loop-to-loop -loop at the end, like that. So here's the barrel roll. Now there's another way to do the barrel roll. It looks like this. You just immediately wrap the yo-yo right around your finger and back onto the string. Let it off and do the loop. The third trick is called the brain twister. It starts out like barrel roll, but once you get it here, you switch the heights of your hands Pull your yo-yo finger into the string and do a somersault, just like you did on trapeze. And here's Brain Twister with both the forward and the reverse loop. Now here's a little extra goodie you can put on there. It's called Rock the Baby on the Brain Twister. Bring this string up over the top, down, open it up, and somersault the baby out, and you're out of the trick, just like that. Once you've got these three tricks down, Skin the Cat, Barrel Roll, and the Brain Twister, You've developed the skill level necessary to take the quantum leap to attempting Split the Atom. Here's Split the Atom in its fullest form. I'm going to add to what I previously did a mount. We'll do Split the Atom, rock the baby, and end it. impressive trick is a combination of Rock the Baby and the Eiffel Tower. And it's cleverly named, you guessed it, Rock the Baby and the Eiffel Tower. You gotta love it. Here it is. And now it's time to get out from behind the wheel, because up next I've got two Dunkin' Yo-Yos that you can actually use to do tricks with in the dark. Starting with this one right here, the Dunkin' Glow in the dark. Hit it, boys. No, not music. I meant the lights. Now, if you like that, you're going to love this. This next one is called the Duncan Satellite. It's got a little light inside. And when you give it the spin, it has a little switch that pops on, and it actually lights up. Hit it, boys. The lights. Nifty, huh? Our last yo-yo in the Hall of Fame collection is a pleasure for both the eyes and the ears. It's called the Duncan Melody. Really? Clever, huh? I just call him Mel for short. This yo-yo really is a lot of fun. Listen. Well, that tune tells me it's time to go. As you're learning these tricks, just do the best you can and have fun. And as I said at the start of the tape, if you work really hard at it and practice, someday you too can become the king of the string.
That's great.